are again, My 11 Circle presents Crick Buzz Live and this is all about the Bangladesh and the West Indies. We built up to it yesterday saying there's two teams in an identical position in the points table which is what makes it a mouth-watering clash from Taunton. It doesn't get better than that. We've had clashes that have been a bit lopsided. Even the big emotional clash yesterday, India versus Pakistan, turned out to be a little weighted towards India. And that's the understatement of the year. In the studio, Zahid Khan and Harsha Bhogle, we briefly mentioned that yesterday about two teams being placed identically in the points table. That makes it more it, it, it does, but I'm a little more worried about you because your team is playing today. So you'll have to be a little calm when West Indies are playing your team. Very neutral. Very neutral. I'm very neutral. You neutral about Bangladesh? Yes, because okay. I spend a lot of time in the West yeah. Indies as well. Yeah, but Bangladesh should the be... The only visa which he's concerned about is Bangladesh. <laughs> yeah, visa on arrival in the West Indies. But yeah, I can no, see, uh, Zahid, you've got the green jacket on. Uh, yeah. But, you know, it, it's yeah. Bangladesh are playing good cricket, even though they've had that break for a few days. I'm not giving any indication by wearing this jacket. Let, let me start with that. I think uh, uh, what, what Bangladesh uh, has done so far in the World Cup, I'm impressed by that because uh, before the World Cup, I was not really rating this team. You know? so, and, and primarily due to uh, the conditions which they will be playing in. So I think they've responded very well so far in the tournament and, uh, and, 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 and been uh, creating uh, that kind of buzz also with, with the teams. You know? So any team which will be playing Bangladesh, they won't be taking the, uh, this team lightly because they've been scoring runs consistently is what I feel. And, uh, and, and today, uh, winning the toss, bowling first, I think uh, puts them in a, in, in a good position. Yeah. Because uh, West Indies uh, is someone who likes to chase, you know, they are, they are uh, much better side when when they know what uh, was, was the target they are going after. At times when they bat first, they get a little carried away, they will make errors. So that's something which uh, they have to be wary of. But all in all, I still feel it's going to be West Indies' uh, day to day. Yeah. It's interesting, they've, they've uh, picked a pure batsman in, in Darren Bravo instead of Carlos Brathwaite. Which means they only picked five bowlers, but they're batting much deeper because they've got Gail, Lewis, Bravo, Hope, Puran, Hetmeyer, Holder, Russell. That's eight, eight, eight batsmen in their side. And now go down, start from the bottom. Okay, Cottrell, Thomas, who's a spinner? Let's search for the spinner and let's see how far we have to go. Cottrell, Thomas, Gabriel, Russell, Holder. I think we've got to go the second column and go all the way to the top. Christopher he, Henry Gale. He bowled six overs, I think, the other day. He bowled five, six overs the other day. That was the most entertaining that's, part of the game. <laughs> that's clearly the plan, I think. Yeah. But, uh, but I, I still feel, I think, you know, th they need nurse in this side. Yeah. You know, otherwise it, it, get, it gets too one-dimensional. Also, you're not sure how many overs Russell is, is, is going to contribute with. So that's something which, which, which another uh, concern which West Indies will forever have in this tournament, you know. So that's something which they have to look at uh, Russell's fitness, how is he, how many overs he can bowl. Uh, and if, if you have nurse, you know, he can bat as well. So, so Ashley nurse... Coming in this playing 11, I feel gives the uh, playing 11 more balance because you are actually banking on on uh, Chris Gale, who you know also has Chris a back issue. 100? What if Chris Gale scores 100? Then he can't field, no? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, 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 so there are uh, question marks all around. Yeah, yeah. So, Gale also is not going to give you 10 overs. So, you much rather have a bowler who on, on a helping track can give you 10 overs. Which today's track looks like it. I think Taunton predominantly is is known to be a spinner fr a spinner friendly wicket, depending on the conditions. But today, hopefully, the sun will come out and spinners will come into play. Yes, a bit of uh, overcast conditions. We're hoping for the sun to come out. Am I allowed one PJ for the show? <laughs> go on. Was, Why are you asking? You're the anchor. Go yeah, on. I was going to I was going to respond to Zahid by saying that the reason Nurse is not there is because they're using the doctor treatment. Get the fast bowlers in and send one of the guys home to get treated. <laughs> Anyway, that, that was it. That was it. Done and dusted for the day. Let's, didn't go down too well. Let's talk about the no, record right. between these two. It's teams. just that I love the introduction, can I? And so I thought there's something more. Uh, you, you were expecting worse? No, it's any more. Anyway. You were expecting more. All right. Okay. Can Bangladesh and the West Indies, if you had gone back 10 or 15 years like we did with India and Pakistan, you would have seen it's very one-sided. But off late, it's been very different between these two sides. And in fact, you can see we can go back. Until 2017, look at that. Bangladesh, 28 matches, 19 of them won by the West Indies. And since 2018, 7-2 to Bangladesh. So it is one-sided again. 
because uh, those seven wins have come home and away. It's not that they're only winning. Yeah, and recently on in Ireland, puddings. yeah, it's not that they're only winning on their home puddings. They're winning. Uh, they're winning in the West Indies. They're winning in Ireland. They're winning everywhere. At the moment, if there's even a slight grip in the surface, uh, uh, I think Bangladesh are favoured side. But remember, in those when they were winning those, uh, Gale wasn't playing unless Gale played the last couple of games in Ireland. I don't know if he played those two. Uh, so. No, so Gale wasn't there, Russell wasn't there. Uh, O'Shane Thomas, I don't know how much O'Shane Thomas played because he's come through as a battering ram. He just comes in and bangs it in short. So to that extent, this West Indies team is probably a little stronger than the team that they have beaten in the past. Yeah, they pretty much left all their IPL players to finish off and recover from that and, and had a second string, in a sense, playing in Ireland. And yet, they did decently enough, but uh, Bangladesh got the better of them. Maybe West Indies will tell themselves we didn't have our full side there. But that's why you have questions like, oh, West Indies is going as underdog in this uh, this, uh, this particular match. The press conference also, uh, Jason Holder has to has to deal with those kind of questions. Have a look. Right, that's so, uh, so, so it's, it's, it's pretty much, uh, he's okay with that. You know, I, I feel that so far in the tournament, how, how, how Jason Holder has, uh, has dealt with the scenarios and situations, I've been very impressed by. He's someone who handles the situation well, who has uh, got a very balanced head. He's, he's not, uh, he's not uh, a typical Caribbean lad. As per se, like you know, he's he's, he's more more balanced, yeah. uh, looks composed and calm. So that's something which uh, which has been working for the team so far in the tournament. You know, they've been planning well. It's just that they've not been able to close the situations. You know, that's something which which they have to dig deep. And and once they get on the roll, I think you know, uh, pretty much before the World Cup, what we are talking about that uh, point stable is also stabilizing now. So, with that regard, you know, maybe New Zealand and West Indies, I still feel, are, are one of those two teams we, uh, which will be fighting for that number four spot. It's good. I mean, the underdog tag actually sits very well with a lot of teams. I mean, we talked about individuals. We had two examples of Chris Wokes and KL Rahul under the radar, not being spoken yeah. about, no pressure. You know, for ages, India didn't mind the underdog tag as well because when we were underdogs, we always played better. And it takes time, I think, in the evolution of a team to say, you know what, we are the favourites, come look at us, the way the Aussies did. I think that's what India are doing now. India think we don't mind being favourites, we are better than you, come look at us. I think that it takes a certain process of evolution to get there. So either of these teams, I mean, Bangladesh were underdogs right from the day they started playing, right? What, they lost 45 of the first 50 test matches, something like that. 44 of their first 50 tests. So they're used to being underdogs, but there's a slight swagger coming into that side with uh, Shakib, with Mushfiqur Rahim. There's a little swagger coming there. So it'll be interesting to see how they go. Yes, they have made one change. I'm not sure if it's a tactical change or if it's to give a little support maybe to Mushfiqur Rahim behind the stumps. Wasn't he injured a little bit, Rahim? It was a little yeah. injury scare. So what they have done in the past with Mushfiqur is allowed him to field not given him the pressure of keeping and Lichun Das can come in as that standby. Though, ironically, the man he's replaced is also a keeper yeah. in Mohamed Mithun. So, where will Lichun Das bat there? Because he normally goes up and tongs the, go, At the, goes after the bowling, no, right? He is an opener, but he's so happy he, to bat in the middle order. So, will he bat three, Shakib four? No, but Shakib's been so good at three. Yeah. Why, why would you move Shakib from three? He's been fantastic at three. I think he was having a great World Cup, you know, yeah. so that's, that, that's something which from Bangladesh's point of view, it's very important that he continues with his form. Mushfikur has been uh, the backbone of that middle order, isn't it? If, if, uh, if, if he's in good form, you know that the platform is set for, for the likes of Mahmudullah to come and then and cash on the, the, uh, the, the, the situation. But uh, Masharfi, I think, you know, will, will be hoping that Mehdi Asin uh, with his off, off spin and, uh, and his good form in the tournament so far uh, creates uh, those, uh, those problems for all this uh, left-handed heavy West Indies side, you know, so that's something which yeah. we'll have to wait and see. If if he comes good and, and gets those early breakthroughs, then I think uh, Masharfi has been really good with using his resources. Uh, and, 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 and and like Harsha said, that if there is a little bit of break in the wicket, yeah. I think, you know, they can they can cause enough trouble to this, uh, this West Indies lineup. And the talisman really will have to be Shakib Al Hassan. I mean, with bat, with ball in hand, and it just seems as the World Cup is bringing out the best in the stalwarts. We talked so much about Rohit Sharma yesterday, and look at Shakib Al Hassan in this tournament so far. Yes, it helps that you can have both departments to deal with, but uh, I thought the last two games he was very, very tight. Even though it was not a lot of wickets, look at his scores for a start. 121, 64, 75. Some people might look at the scores and say he's actually a batsman who bowls a bit. But he's, he's given you 10 overs every time. And except for that game against England, where too he started well. And then it became expensive later. Uh, 2 for 47, 1 for 50. That's fantastic.
In fact, there was a long discussion when Bangladesh played the last time in the commentary box. Ian Bishop was one of them who was in there. They had exactly the discussion. Is he a batsman who bowls or the other way around? He's more the, batsman. That's what that's I, what the verdict I was. I think he's more batsman, but he's giving you ten overs. You know, he's not he's not like a Musaddiq or he's not like Saif, one of these guys who are giving you a few overs. He's a proper ten overs bowler. And in this Bangladesh side, they need six bowlers because Mashrafi may not give you ten. Saifuddin will not may not give you ten. Musaddiq may not give you ten. So they need uh, the the six bowlers. They need Shakib's ten. And they need uh, 10 from, who are the others? Fizz Mandias. and Mediasan. Yeah. So. And also, like in T20 cricket, we talk about the important overs. Shakib tends to bowl those important overs even in 50 over cricket. He does because he, he, he bowls the ball very slow yeah. and, and that's something you know which uh, creates a lot of problem uh, for, uh, for batsmen. And generally in modern day uh, era right now, if you see how cricket is played, the slow bowlers are having that edge over uh, over batsmen, you know, because because they're still not figured out exactly uh, how to like to get to the pitch of the ball. Like you saw with Kuldeep also, yesterday when uh, Babar Azam got out, it was just a nice looped delivery, uh, slow through the air, and 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 Babar was was confused, you know. So that's something which has been working uh, recently for most of the batsmen. You know, there are very few batsmen who are using their feet, getting close to the pitch of the ball. How how uh, usually. Cricket was taught about in uh, in uh, in the early days of of uh, cricket being very professional. It was it was still getting there. So so those times it used to be taught like that: play the ground, uh, uh, play the ball along the ground. So that is something you know which uh, which which now recently is is, is working. And uh, from Bangladesh's point of view, I think you know Shakib is one tactic which they've which they've done well in this tournament is getting Sha Shakib up the order. You know, so that's something which has been a very good move uh, by them, which which has paid off because they were looking at him more more of an all rounder. You know, now they are they are considering him more of a batsman who can uh, uh, who, who can bowl. Even though in uh, today's match, because of there are too many left handers in, in in West Indies side, and you know how Chris Gale is against the the left arm spin and the leg spin. So that's something which we'll have to see if if they don't get Chris Gale out, then you might see Shakib coming playing his role a bit later yeah. in the innings. Yeah. You know, it's amazing how the two sides are just structured so differently. Who's who's going to bowl quick for, for Bangladesh? Uh, really, Mashrafi and... Uh, and... Mashrafi and Mustafi, right? While you talk about that, I just want to bring you in while we're looking at the squad. Still no place for Rubel. Still no place for Rubel, correct. Now, Mustafi, Saifuddin is not the fastest. Uh, Mashrafi is not the fastest. That's it. So, where are the overs coming from? Mediasan spin, Musadiq spin, Shakib spin. So, their whole approach is either you bowl slow or the quick bowlers take pace off. Mustafizur's big ball is the one he takes the pace off. Go to the West Indies, five guys who just come in and, I mean, Holder's probably the slowest of them all, but five guys who bowl quick. So, it'll be interesting to see what the surface does because both are coming from different directions. And they've opted to bowl first Bangladesh, so they obviously have seen a little bit. Uh, yeah. the, the reason he gave was not necessarily we want to use the conditions up front, but we're happy to chase. And we've been chasing well and hence our batting unit is looking settled. Also, uh, the previous game which was played on this track, you know, that also plays on 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 captain's mind. That the think tank they they take into consideration all the other things as well. So I think one of the uh, reasons they've opted to bowl first is that as well, because if at all there is any help in the wicket, it will be in the first half an hour, forty minutes. So they want to make use of that if 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 they can have early inroads to this West Indies side. If not, they know that uh, they know that the wicket is going to get better. And even if even if there is a little bit of turn. There are no spinners in uh, this, this West Indies lineup, yeah. so that that doesn't really come into play. Yep, but it just means that uh, you already know. We've uh, given you the two 11s. You know what you have to choose from because this is the time you can get that last-minute reminder of your My Eleven Circle team. Get to that website. Uh, most of you have the app already. Just in case you don't, download it. Bangladesh v West Indies is the match that you have to pick. You can pick in advance and uh, make a team for another game if you want to. But today's game is the one in focus. Get your 11 in. And uh, remember, Dada Kavada holds good. Five times the amount of cash if you can be our beat the expert champion. But I think if in terms of approach, when we see the West Indies bowling, started, it's they set the tone early in the tournament. Are they going to get a bit of the parfum ball against Pakistan? I, I get the feeling that is what they've decided right through the tour. This is how we are going to play. We are going to use our pace and we are going to come hard at them. Uh, they've actually got a left-arm guy who swings it a little bit. Sheldon, Sheldon Cottrell yeah, yeah. swings it a little bit. For his salute alone, I want him to take wickets. 
But uh, O'Shane Thomas, yeah, I like that. O'Shane Thomas, I, I mean, he just runs it and bowls quick. That's it. I don't think the word subtlety has entered his dictionary yet. I hope it never does. He just comes in and bowls quick. So it'll be good to see. Gabriel can bowl quick. And he's been given the license. I mean, the first time we no, saw him, bowl quick. all they talked about in the West Indies is for people who remember the era of the 70s, here's a little replica from that era. We've just told him, don't worry about anything else. The only worry initially was that he was a four-over bowler and now he's turning into a... They only give him three at a time, right? The, yeah. the weather also helps, you know. So, in these conditions, you can yeah, have yeah, that uh, short burst and you don't really get, uh, feel that much uh, tiredness. So, 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 that has helped him, I feel. Uh, but... Uh, I like that uh, that uh, two bowlers complementing. So you know, so so Ocean Thomas, you have uh, raw pace, hard uh, hard lengths, extra bounce. So that's something which is coming from one end, and on the other side, you have uh, Cottrell, who is looking to shape the ball. You know, getting pitching the ball up. So that's something which uh, which is uh, a very complementing uh, set of bowlers being used up front and in, in short bursts as well. So they have a they have a plan. And you know? so far, so far, you've seen that West Indies has gone in with the plan. They have seen success. It's it just that, like you know, they've not persisted or they've not been proactive in the game time. Once, once, uh, once you are in the game. So you know, once, once you've passed those 25, 30 overs, maybe at at in in some cases you have to be proactive and change your tactics uh, a touch uh, in in according to the conditions. Like you know, they've uh, they've made that mistake against uh, Australia as well. When they just persisted with that short ball, even though it was yeah. uh, getting predictable, they continued with that because they saw the, the result. So, I think against Bangladesh as well, because this team, we've seen against South Africa also, they were prepared. They were prepared that it's going to be short pitch bowling and what are the options which we have. So, I think with Bangladesh as well, they got to be a little proactive with understanding, mixing it. Don't be just uh, just one track. You know, if you, if you're just sending one one kind of attack, then it gets easier for 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 batsmen to deal with that or or prepare in a certain but way. But just one other factor, the, I mean, I'm just reading what Chris what what Chris Gale said before the uh, before the game started, and he said, "I've played here for Somerset before, small boundaries." Yeah, well, <laughs> he said, "I've played here for Somerset, small boundaries, spinners bowling, bowlers taking pace off." I'll tell you what, Chris Gale plays out the first five six overs. Then he'll start starts using the small boundaries. It might work against Bangladesh. Yeah, I've seen I've seen many many years ago. Viv Richards play there, and uh, it was not safe to park your car outside because. It was, but, but sort of it, sort of it. How many sixes against Sri Lanka there? Oh, in uh, 199. In in the 183s. Yes. Yeah, in that, that, that 183. Was, that, that was legendary. Yes. But uh, talking about the West Indies batting, I know a lot of focus will be on Chris Gale. But I was in Bangladesh on a multiple entry six month visa, <laughs> <laughs> watching them play a one day series. <laughs> and the one no standout visa. over there for the West Indies with bat in hand in that series was Sheho. He's a good player. I, I don't know. He's going to come good. He's, he's a good player. Uh, even against India, we saw in the West Indies yeah. when we were there, he looked a good player. Uh, against that Bangladesh, record, I mean, against those, are, those are amazing numbers. But he's, he's just very. Uh, I, I wonder also, they've pushed him up and down, right? He's been three, he's been opening, he's been three, he's been opening in harmonic progression, one day here, one day there. So today, who have, who have, who have they got today? Well, they've got Evan Lewis and Darren Bravo, so okay. you're not going to have both in the middle order. So, so if Darren Bravo Bravo's in the four. team, he'll bat at four or five, and Lewis will probably open with yes. Gale and then Shea Hope at three. Hope is the only uh, right hander among six um, in the top six. Yes. yes. He's the only right hander in the top six. So, yeah. So lots of off spin to come. Mosaddegh, Mehdi Hassan Miraj. Maybe Maimurullah or his shoulder is still bad? Uh, yeah, but uh, they don't really like to use him unless they absolutely have to. You don't ask for that to. in your multiple visa interview? <laughs> <laughs> no interview needed. It's just, okay. just get that visa across from them. So, it, it'll be, I mean, all those left-handers, I know we've talked about that. Someone like Shimron Hetmeyer too will, will look at this and say, look, it's about time I can get in there and, and cash in. He's looked good but hasn't gone on. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's a good player of spin as well. So, that's something in the middle low is we'll have to uh, see. Puran is, is, is someone who is… Yeah, he's batted well. Uh, no? Puran is batted well. In great nick. So, so, so Puran uh, and Hetmeyer will, will, will form that middle order. I think uh, three will be uh, Shea Hope. And, and it's important that he plays that anchor role. Because purely because you know there are too many left-handers, and 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 West Indies should be smart enough to use Holder as well just to break that, like you know have left-hand right-hand combination going. Because he's also someone who is who's uh, who is there possibly one of the best players of spin. You know he 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 doesn't look uh, 
to threaten by spin and he plays according to a situation you've, you've seen it against uh, australia as well he was uh, he was anchoring that inning at at that stage making sure that you know russell and uh, brathwaite is, uh, is is taking the game along and uh, and help them finish on the right side didn't happen that day but he he looked comfortable and and his record also shows that you know he's someone who is uh, equally good with the bat will they tell russell to bat more than 20 balls I get the feeling Russell comes out to bat saying me and my 20 balls. I think I think he's he's still figuring out uh, yeah. about going about 50 overs. You know because uh, huh. that's something which we saw against Australia as as, as well. Uh, and when uh, Brathwaite and Russell both were there, they could have actually used them in uh, touched differently. Yeah. Uh, getting uh, Brathwaite up because he's someone who is used to uh, building an innings. Russell, I think what works better for him is when he goes in with the mindset that every ball is going to hit and then settle down. Yeah. So that's something which which he has to figure out in, uh, in in terms of understanding the rhythm of the game. Like you know, every game uh, has a rhythm, every format has a rhythm, and he still needs to uh, is not looking very clear in his head whether as to won. whether he should be attacking, attacking, or he, he should be building an innings. I get the feeling if you give Russell one hour to board a train. He won't know what to do. If he tells <laughs> three minutes to board a train, he'll run and catch it. Yeah, that's, that happens a lot in England, though. Quickly get on trains, get from one place to another. But uh, mindset was the word Zahir Khan just used about Andre Russell. Someone whose mindset is very well set is uh, the man who was there. The hit man yesterday, Rohit Sharma. And uh, he actually spoke about that. I mean, it was not just about what he did on the field. And he think, said, I think it's just the space I am in right now. It's a good phase. Having a daughter, a newly born daughter, actually has put me in a good space. So he's enjoying his cricket, coming off a great IPL campaign and then starting off here. So the importance I hear of uh, being in the right mind space. You're asking him about <laughs> <laughs> the newly born daughter in that line, you are. Well, you know, I mean, no, no, you've just seen no, him I mean, up close. I, th I think it's, it's taking the pressure <laughs> of, of, of cricket, you know, pressure uh, of expectations. The softer side of him coming up? Yeah, I think, you know, the, it, it just takes your mind away, isn't it? Rather than constantly thinking about the game, constantly thinking about the expectations and it, it, it just at times uh, kind of uh, bogs you down, like you know, it, it, it just you feel the weight of it. Uh, but when you have uh, someone like Samaira, you know, to take the <laughs> take the weight off and 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 take the pressure off, I think I, she she's the cutest thing I've I've, I've seen during the IPL, you know, and uh, and getting very popular. <laughs> and I mean, after the one IPL, thing I have to say, yeah, that that kid in the stadium is very unfazed. Like yeah. she, like she doesn't even feel that there are yeah, so many people around. Doesn't, doesn't cry. Doesn't yeah, she's a happy got baby. Cool from her father. I saw Rohit once. He got man of the match of Mumbai Indians had just won, and he was sitting. I said, Marathi Mandi Galun. He was sitting on the grass with the baby in his. Uh, yeah. And he was just. I mean, he was like he was lost to the world. But it's made such a difference to so many people. Even someone we saw as a feisty youngster by the name of David Warner. Uh, the moment it comes to his young young ones, he becomes a completely different person. And then sometimes he goes back to being the one he was, and maybe another young one arrives, so he, so he comes back to who he is. What about Mr. Monk Kohli? There isn't a little one there, but Mr. Kohli is still becoming, more, still becoming a monk almost. Well, it's, it's the partnership. It's not just about who's batting at the other end. I think that also helps, Shikhar. Uh, I mean, it was, it was both the missus and, of course, uh, I mean, he's an adorable young one. Oh, Shikhar's little one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you one thing. You look at, uh, you look at Shikhar. And you say, okay, you know in those movies you said this gun and phew, you become small? Yeah. Boom, small? And there's Shikhar. Honey, I shrunk follow. the kid. Yeah, then there's, yeah correct. Honey, I shrunk <laughs> the kids. There's Shikhar's little baby. Uh, he's not a baby anymore, but yeah, but he is, he's so funny. But I think what, what we're talking about is the support system. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think that is something which is very important, you know, for, for you to go out there and, and do your best, you know. And, and you often talk about uh, the switch off from the game. You have to cultivate some hobby and you have to have the right people around, you know, who are at times criticizing you as well, telling you the exact calling spade a spade. You know, so that is that is something which is very important, and and when you have that kind of support system, suddenly uh, uh, your yeah things starts to flow, and you know you are making the right decisions, and and that's something which you have seen with everyone. You know, not, not just these three examples which you are looking at. I think every uh, every athlete, every uh, every successful person, I would say, has uh, has at some stage had this support system for them to flourish and uh, and and do good things in well, life. I, I, we were we were in the West Indies, and I saw this. Occasionally angry, fast bowler, just you know, saying romantic nothings and walking into the sunset. And I said, oh, "This too can happen." Go on. 
<laughs> Come on, let's let's have a listen. No, we're in the West Indies and there's we're chatting and then suddenly we find that Zahir and Sagrika are not there. They're there one minute, next minute they're not, and we see that there's a little sunset and they're walking away. Well, you Antigua is a pretty place. Uh, no, that's yeah, okay. you can that's go okay. for I'm long just, I'm just saying it can happen to anybody. <laughs> that's why I brought up Mr. Monk Kohli. I mean, he's becoming so calm in press conferences. I remember seeing him even in Australia amidst all the tension. He was, there's a calmness that's come to him. So Yeah, we saw it on the field yesterday. We, you were not there, but we briefly referred to it downstairs here. And, and we were saying that, look, there are sides. An India-Pakistan battle would probably have brought out the feisty side of him. Um, even in a toned-down way. But here he was smiling. Mohammed Ahmed came and said a few pleasantries to him and he just smiled back. Yeah. Well, that fire is inside. You know, ah. there is, there a fire is, is there. I'm not saying it's gone. But he's, it's, about, he's, like a capsule. he's... It's like a sugar-coated capsule. Yeah. The, yeah. There is the thing uh, inside, yeah. I mean, that hunger uh, and that drive is, is there. It's just that he's evolving as a person, you know, so, and, and, and that's something which uh, we just seen. I mean, the the gesture which he has uh, he has shown for uh, Steve Smith as well. You know, it's he's thinking beyond things. You know, beyond cricket, uh, he's he's wanting to be an ambassador, and so he should be. You know, he's leading by example, and and doing a lot of right things, which is uh, uh, he's he's a true leader in that sense. You know, he can he's always led with example, and uh, and I think there are certain things which he should stick to. You know, we don't mind uh, seeing him going on with, with his uh, lip sync, if you read it nicely. <laughs> he can continue with that, you know, so that's something which he should and, it, and it's still there. So there are certain things which he has not moved away from and uh, which, which was uh, seen when he got out in that uh, last few hours of uh, the, uh, the, the other game, which, which, which game, you talking? Australia game, Australia. I think he, he got out towards the end and he was uh, very upset with that dismissal. So all those things are there, it's just that uh, the other things he's taking it to another level. Yes, certainly. We never doubted the hunger and the drive, did we? But uh, we've just got one person who uh, puts out the hunger for knowledge and that is Joy Bharacharya. And today I can tell you he's got quite a brain teaser which is one of those that you're going to take either forever to get or you'll get it in 0.03 seconds like Crick Rohit, I'm sure, is waiting to pick up. So here's the question. It has Actually, a taunt. No, no, no. Ask Rick Rohit the answer before the question is put out. <laughs> then we'll know if he's hacked into the system. So there's a taunt and connection one. to it. That's the only hint I'll give you. His only test wicket was a West Indian in 2005 and it helped round up his career record to a unique total. Part two of it. Gemal Hussain's dismissal hurt him more than the batsman. And it's the phrasing of this sentence that is the key to this question, folks. Which cricketer are we talking about? Hashtag Crickbuzz Live with the answers. Get them in quickly. Just enough time to get a prediction. West Indies batting first at Taunton. Zaheer Khan? 350. Oh, he goes straight I've off the bat. Yeah, I've thought about it. He's, He's thought about it. I was, I was going to suggest 325, 330 actually, but he said 350 and I'll say 328. 328. Multiple Come on, go 390. Come on. Month. It could become multiple entry one year. So with the spinners coming into play, two, did you say 290? No, no, I said you could say 390. No, 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 290. <laughs> 290, okay. 290. 290. There'll be a bit of a flourish. Remember, but, uh, it's not Bangladesh batting. West Indies batting. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I said. The Bangladesh spinners will come into it and keep them down to 290. Okay. So Optimistic. there we go. That's what uh, we have from here on uh, My 11 Circles presents Crick Buzz Live. We'll see you in the 15th over on Crick Buzz Combox. And of course, let's see how quickly we get that joy factor question in.